Interesting thing, uh, Neil Steinberg in the Sun-Times. What's going on with the Sun-Times lately? Because Rick Tellender, remember the uh, Arizona law that was going to defend religious freedom? Uh, he compared uh, to Dachau and uh, everybody who Buchenwald. Disagree- everybody yeah. who disagrees with them is a Nazi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, why he didn't throw Auschwitz in there, you know, Keeps the holy trinity of concentration camps. But, you know, it's the last resort of a scoundrel. It's, uh, you know, comparing everything to the Nazis. Well, apparently Neil Steinberg, who's better than this? I mean, he, the guy can write. I don't know what you know why he did this, but he grasped at something, and he compared... He compared uh, black uh, conservatives to Jews who collaborated uh, with the uh, Nazis, you know, saying that Bruce Rauner is trying to buy off uh, blacks, you know, by you know, helping repair their churches and the like. And you know, God forbid that anybody should actually believe what the uh, principles that are animating uh, Bruce Rauner, like maybe giving somebody a chance to succeed in life as opposed to uh, taking something from the state and being in a perpetual uh, or, or, uh, dependency. Or, or, yeah. bl- or blacks should affiliate with the Republican. Republican Party, you know, the party that was founded uh, as part yeah. of the abolition movement. Anyway, Adam Credo, a senior writer for the Washington Free Beacon, uh, joins us, and he has more on the story. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So basically, you uh, discovered the connection between the Quinn campaign, Governor Quinn's campaign, and all of this. Uh, tell, tell us about it. That's right. So not just, like you said, did this shocking article come out making these really wild claims, But um, the Quinn campaign on Twitter, of all places, decided to promote the article, not just once, but several times, tweeting out, uh, urging its followers to read this wonderful uh, uh, piece of writing here. And what I've been told is after uh, uh, outrage from the Jewish community and others uh, that they brought this to the Quinn campaign's attention, these these tweets were quietly deleted. Now, the only reason we know this happened at all because you can't find the tweets on Twitter, is because of a uh, website that actually stores and archives political tweets. <laughs> right. And right up there we can see that uh, they were promoting this article before they were secretly not. Yeah, but the tweets were quietly removed, but that outrage from the Jewish community it was also particularly quiet because I didn't hear anything about it. I didn't hear anybody say anything publicly uh, to uh, about Governor Quinn. And um, so I, wh- where, where did that outrage even come from since... Uh, that's a community that a largely supports the Democrat Party. Are you saying Jews are collaborating with Governor Quinn? Is that what you're saying, Dan Proft? Two wrongs do not make a reverend right. Yes, yes. So the oh. source of the outrage. Right. So, you know, this is typical with the Jewish community uh, in particular, and this is something we see a lot of times, that uh, especially when it comes to politics and sensitive issues like this, especially when you bring up these uh, Nazi comparisons, which politicians resort to from time to time. Uh, the Jewish community likes to work behind closed doors. They like to maintain relationships, and and uh, when they issue a problem like this, their first reaction is to not become public and attack, but to try to work with people behind. Yeah, we should get along. So sure, yes. like 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 Neil Steinberg. Neil Steinberg's Jewish, isn't he? Yes, uh-huh. we'll get along, have a piece of cake, we'll figure it out, we're all good Democrats. All right, <laughs> thank you, Adam Credo. Appreciate it. Uh, keep on doing the good work and discovering those tweets that they're trying to bury. Thank, thank you. you. But, by the, by the yeah. way, this, this Neil Steinberg, this is the columnist who uh, also said, everyone focuses on the slap, and that was the only time I ever hit my wife. All right. That's uh, sh- I mean, Chicago really... Magazine, June 2008. Because Typical... I, I, unlike the Sun-Times, I provide citation for my I, source, Lenny sources. Lenny Reefenstahl, thanks for the propaganda. 